isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. For today's video, I'm gonna be discussing with you ethics and research. So how do we define ethics and research? According to Christo 2015, ethics is anchored on the moral standards that we follow. It promotes essential values to guide the researcher in the process. Ethics and research includes, number one, honesty, objectivity, integrity, caring, openness and carefulness, trustworthiness and responsibility. The most common way of defining ethics is to refer to it as norms for conduct and distinguish between acceptable and acceptable behavior and other words. These are direct networks among people because they recognize some common ethical norms but interpret apply and balance them in different ways in the light of their own values and experiences. This was defined by Resmic 2015. Another way of defining ethics is to consider it as a method, procedure, or perspective for deciding how to act and for analyzing complex problems and issues. For example, in considering a complex issue like global warming, one may take an economic, ecological, political, and ethical perspective on that matter, while an economist might examine the cost and benefits of various policies related to global warming, and while an environmentalist or environment ethicist could examine the ethical values and principles at stake. So you see, uh, different, uh, different fields of course, as different interpretation when it comes to, or different perspective when it comes to uh, research. So, take note that uh, to be ethical, a research project needs to be designed to create valid outcomes if it is believed to be pursuing the truth. So, if you want to know the truth, so the researcher should create valid outcomes. According to one of the researchers, uh, they argue that qualitative researchers need to be as vigilant or positive about ensuring the validity and the reliability of the study. So take note of those two words, validity and reliability. So researchers have a duty to ensure that they do not deliberately mislead participants as to the nature of the research. Researchers take note that have a duty to avoid causing both physical and psychological difficulties to participants and to the socio-political environments in which in, uh, with which they work. In both virtual and physical words, physical world, researchers are ethically bound to maintain the privacy of participants, including confidentiality for any information they give and, of course, anonymity for their identity. That was according to Baez, 20, uh, 2002. Research ethics involves the application, the application of fundamental ethical principles to a variety of topics involving research. Say, for example, the academic research is built on a foundation of trust. Researchers trust that the results reported by others, of course, are heard. Napapakinggan. Nauunawaan. And of course, the society trusts that the results of research reflect an honest attempt to, the, to describe the word accurately and without bias. So, there are some that assess that research ethics is different throughout the various, tip, uh, the various types of educational communities. So, research informants participating in individual or group often require to sign an informed consent to sign an informed consent form which outlines the nature of the problem of the pro uh, of the uh, project so anyone who wants to join or who, who are a participant in the study must 
of course, sign an informed consent. So that's one ethical action when you are doing research. They are assured anonymity and will be referred to using pseudonyms. That's why if uh, somebody is asking you to fill out information, if you're a participant, the name is, uh, of course, optional. Because uh, in ethics and research, anonymity is very important. Okay? It is the researcher's ethical responsibility not to harm the human they are studying, specifically if, the partic if their participants are all human, of course. They also have a responsibility to science and the public. And of course, as well as to the future students. Okay, so that is uh, ethics and uh, research. Okay, so there are ethical considerations in research. So I'll just uh, take this one by one. Okay, number one is the kind of information obtained when doing an inquiry may give rise to an issue or issues. What does this mean? Sometimes uh, in, the, in the light of or in the process of making an inquiry, you discovered something. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do when you discover uh, or uncover or get hold of practices which are not, which are not acceptable? So what will you do? One rule that must be followed is that the person is obliged to report practices such as child abuse, drug use, abusive teachers, and others. And there are so many uh, practices that may not be acceptable. So that's ethical consideration. I repeat, one rule that must always be followed is that the person is obliged to report practice such as child abuse, drug use, abusive teachers, and others. Another one, ethical consideration in research, is the researcher is expected to act professionally, maintaining respect towards them. So, what does this mean? The issue of anonymity and confidentiality are to be observed. In field notes particularly, when you are doing field notes particularly, when conducting a sensitive research, false names or code numbers are used to keep track of what information came from whom without revealing their identities. That is how to become professional researcher. I hope uh, you get my point. And of course, number three is the researcher is expected to give back to participants or the subjects of the research and to show them appreciation for their commitment, effort, and cooperation. What does this mean? This acts may be to provide a written report, present findings in an assembly, give assistance or advice on other research projects at their workplace and others. So that's number three ethical consideration. And of course, the last one is that the researcher writes a letter and seeks to be, to be allowed to conduct a study. If changes happen in the course of the investigation, he or she needs to get an approval for the continuance of the study. So those are the things that you have to remember and you have to understand when it comes to the ethics in research because there are some ethical principles that you have to understand or ethical behavior which, be, which will, should be clearer to you like honesty, objectivity, integrity, carefulness, openness, respect for intellectual property, confidentiality, responsible publication, respect for colleagues, social responsibility, non-discrimination, competence, and legality. So those are some ethical principles coined, of course, in research. So I hope uh, you learned something uh, today when it comes to ethics and research. So before I end this uh, discussion, so you can subscribe to this channel for upcoming videos. Thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for um, 
today's uh, discussion. See you again. Bye!